Now let me apologize for you having to be cold out here rather than warm inside. We love you, Bernie! We didn't quite know how much support we had here in Birmingham. Let me just say a few words, and that is that this campaign is not just about electing a president. This campaign is about waging a political revolution in which millions of people, including all of you, begin to stand up and say loudly and clearly that the government of the United States belongs to all of us and not just a handful of billionaires. Is create an economy that works for all of us and not just a handful of billionaires. And when we talk about the changes that we need, we need fundamental changes in the way we do education. In the year 2016, no American should be denied the opportunity of getting a college education because of his or her income. And that is why we are going to make public colleges and universities tuition free. And for those of you who are dealing with high levels of student debt, we're going to lower interest rates on that student debt. And for those of you who are struggling with health care, we are going to join the rest of the industrialized world and say that in the United States of America, health care is a right, not a privilege. And together, together, in Alabama, in Vermont, all over this country, we are going to put an end to institutional racism. And we are going to reform in a very big way a broken criminal justice system. Now here is the bottom line of what's going on politically in this country today. The people who run the country assume that many of you young people people of color are not going to vote. And when you don't vote, that vacuum is filled by big money interests who are spending huge amounts of money on super PACs. The truth of the matter is we can bring about profound change in this country. But the only way we do it is when people become mobilized, when people begin to stand up and fight back. Now, I know, you know, we got problems in my state, that's for sure, we got problems in every state in this country. But here in states like Alabama, you can play an historic role, taking on the reactionaries, taking on the folks who protect big money at the expense of children and hungry people. Yeah. There is no rational reason in the world why when we pass the Affordable Care Act, hundreds of thousands of people here in Alabama are not able to enjoy the benefits of expanded Medicaid. No reason for that at all. So we have got a lot of work in front of us. But the truth is, if we do not allow the Trumps of the world to divide us up, see that's always what it's about. With their mentalities, they want to divide black and white and gay and straight people born in America, people not born in America, men and women, you name it. Divide, divide, divide. Our job is to unite, 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 bring people together. Now, I think, you know, the, the word out there is that states like Alabama, states like Mississippi, you know, they're red states, they're conservative states. I don't believe it. And they don't believe it because they're making it harder for people to vote. They're afraid of something. So we're going to stand up to the voter suppression. 
And we're going to tell those cowards that if they are afraid of a free and fair election, get another job. Get out of politics. Let's get registered to vote. Let's get our friends registered to vote. Let's fight for an agenda that works for working families in this country. Let's have Alabama go blue, not red. And believe me, when you do that, you are going to send a shock to the establishment of this country, the likes of which they have not seen for many, many years. So thank you all very much for coming out on this day, the day we honor one of the great Americans in the history of this country, a man whose roots, a man whose roots at work was here in Alabama, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So our job, our job when we honor Dr. King is not to put him in a museum, not to just talk about all the things they did 50 years ago. That man had a vision which is as alive today as it was then. Let's fulfill that vision. Thank you very much.